Hi everyone, this is Miss Anne and welcome to another segment of our Unplugged Coding. Uh, the app that we are going to be talking about today is PBS Kids Scratch Junior. Uh, it's very similar to Scratch Junior. Um, it's almost identical except that this has PBS characters. So what is Scratch Junior? Well, Scratch Junior is a visual programming language designed to introduce programming skills to kids ages 5 to 8. By creating projects in Scratch Junior, young children can learn to think creatively and reason systematically, despite not being able to read. So this is geared for more ages 5 to 8. Um, as we begin, you're going to see it's a little different than the other apps. This is much more creative. Uh, unlike the other apps, there is no tutorials. There's no step-by-step -step, uh, process in how to, how to do things. Um, there's no, you know, let's start off easy and then you'll build up to the harder codes. Uh, it's, it's a specific platform. However, Unlike some of the other apps we've also seen, this is completely free. Uh, both PBS Kids Scratch Junior as well as Scratch Junior and uh, Scratch. The, this type of coding and these types of apps are free. And they are available for iOS systems, Android, and Chromebooks. So let's get started. Start. I already have a project that I created, but I'm going to start a new one so I can show you guys everything. So to start a new project, under my projects, there is what looks to be a blank white piece of paper. In the center is a blue circle and a cross. You're going to select that. That opens up a new project. All projects start with dot, and she is the character you can work with. However, you can add other characters. To eliminate dot, if let's say you want a new character and you don't want dot in your, in your program, you will tap on her and hold. So if you tap, and hold, you're going to see that uh, slightly pinkish X, and you'll click on that X. X it away, and now she's gone. If you were to see this blank page, it could be kind of daunting. Where do you start? Well, you can't add any code unless you have a character to work with. Under PBS Kids Scratch Junior, on the upper left-hand side of your page, next to the Home button, uh, you'll see right underneath that, uh, that blank page with the blue circle and the cross, tap on that. When you tap on that, it's going to show you all the different characters you can work with. Because this is the PBS version, you might notice some PBS characters. Um, I know as I scroll down, you can see some Arthur characters. And you can select one. So if I select Francine, now Francine is here and we can have her do things. Now, you're going to notice all the way up at the top, there is that bar next to the home button that looks kind of like a house. Uh, we have just a blank piece of paper. There's one with grid lines. If you tap on that, it allows you to grid everything out. If you, there's specific things that you need to do at specific points, that might be helpful. But right in the middle at that upper top, it looks kind of like a picture. And for uh, parents, it kind of looks like a Polaroid picture. If you were to tap on that, tap. You are now going to see all the backgrounds that you can select, and you can select a variety of backgrounds. And I worked with um, this under the sea background, so we're going to do that again. And we're going to select the deep. And you just hit the little check mark, and now we have Francine in the deep. I'm going to take the grids away. And you take the grids away by, by tapping on um, that blank piece of paper neck, right directly next to the home button. And there she would be if we wanted to see her. However, we want to take the grids away and actually it was the grid. So you can turn grids on, turn grids off. Tap the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, so we have Francine. If you didn't want Francine, let's say we wanted um, a sea creature. We're gonna tap on her and hold just like we did with Dot and we're gonna X her out. We don't want Francine in, in this, you know, maybe she can't swim. All right, so now we're going to add another character, that blank piece of paper on the left with the the blue circle and the cross in, in the center. We're going to tap on that, and now we can look for um, underwater characters. And you can scroll down. And in the one that I used before, I had um, that octopus, but I think I'm going to use a crab. And I'm going to say, yep, I want my crab. Um, I'm going to add a second character. You can add as many as you'd like. So I'm going to add another character. 
Um, and this time, I think I'm going to find a fish. And you just keep scrolling until you can find something that you would like to use. Oops, I hit a snake. Well, we can keep our snake. I accidentally tapped on him. We might as well keep him. Maybe it's a, you know, underwater snake. Okay. Now, when you want to add your code to this page, you add a line of code for each individual character. I have two characters. Right now, it's highlighted for the snake. If I wanted to work with the crab, you would just tap on the crab. But I'm going to keep on the snake. I want the snake to move forward and bump into the crab. Okay, how can we do that? Well, directly under our background and our page, we have all the different commands that we can work on. Uh, right here is the yellow one. I just tapped it on. And this is how we're going to have the character start. If you tap on something, it'll tell you what it is. Starting on the green flag, which is up, up at the top, that would be when we tap on that green flag. If you find the other green flag, you would tap on it. And when that happens, that would be when the command would begin. We could also do tap uh, start on when we tap the snake. We can also have uh, start on when something bumps the snake. And then there's two other commands here, but we're not going to work on those just yet. So that is on the start. Blue means movement. Well, maybe we want our snake to move forward. Maybe we want him to move forward one or two times. Uh, if we wanted to make him go twice and we knew that, we could change that number one, tap on it to two. The pink allows you to do fun stuff, maybe we can have him say hi. And you can change that and have him say something else. Um, this one means making uh, the snake grow. This is shrink, resetting the size, hide, and show. And if you drag it down into the field for the snake and then tap on it, it'll, tell, it'll show you what it's going to do. He disappeared. Very cool. If we tapped on this, we can make him reappear. There he goes. He re reappears. So that's how you uh, can figure it out. You can tap on them and see what happens to the characters. So hide and show. There's also the option to add a sound effect. You can add the pop that's already there, but I'm going to add uh, a sound. So I'm going to go... And I'm going to add that sound, and that's... He's going to hiss because he's a snake, an underwater snake, perhaps. Maybe they don't hiss, but a snake. So I just added that. So that's sound effects in green. Um, these orange ones are the timer, the stop. So if I want him to stop um, hissing, that would be a good option because I can make him... If I wanted him to stop a command, that would be, um, or a timer on a command, we can have that happen. Stop. This one is setting a speed and then repeating. Um, the red is ending or repeating on forever. Okay, so that's our snake. Um, if we hit the green button, this is what it would look like. And so on. Um, now let's work on the crab. Tap on the crab and now we're going to work on him. I want to select something else when he, we want him to scurry away uh, when he gets, you know, when he sees the snake. So to do that, we're not going to pick the start on the green and we're not going to pick um, start on when somebody taps the crab. We're going to have it start when something bumps into the crab. Um, and then we're going to have him scurry away really quickly. Um, so we'll have him move and we can have him move maybe three and then under the yellow, we can set that speed. So we're gonna set that speed and we're gonna set it as really fast. So let's see what that line of code looks like all together. So he went really fast, um, a lot faster than the snake, the snake moved. And maybe we can change that and set it to six. Let's see what that looks like. And there you go. So this is PBS Kids Scratch Junior. Um, you can play around with it uh, and test it out. This is also available online. So www.scratchjunior.org and they have an hour of code as well. So if you don't have a tablet or a device, you can use your computer to check out 
PBS Kids, Scratch.